As a filmmaker, what I like to bring to the table is a grounded world. It's a world that feels lived in. And for me, the more you can populate that world with actors who have the skills and can do the specific actions of the characters for real, it's incredibly important. Physicality for an actor is huge. What happens is it just gives an extra level of authenticity. After doing months and months of broad strokes training and building up the strength to be able to do the other stuff, we honed in for more specific skills needed for the actual scenes. It was really lovely because it was about finding a physicality, physically feeling like you were changing and getting into that role. Working with people who come to work early every day because they just want to be there so badly. It was fun. Guy Norris and Richard Norton, they were fantastic collaborators when it came to helping the actors develop those styles. The mistake that's often made is a choreographer will often do a whole sequence. It's more or less a showcase of, gee, look at all these fancy techniques. Without considering the, the main part is, what are you asking your actor to be able to do? So the techniques and the choreography for me is very much aligned with, can I design a set of sequences that the actor is more than capable of doing? Through the course of the show, the amount of times we've actually had to use our stunt doubles in a sequence, I can count on one hand. You gonna come down from there or what? <laughs> Someone's happy. <laughs> with everybody, it's looking at what their strengths are and then combining that with what their character traits and trying to meld them both together. I got to do all this cool stuff I never would have done before, like learning how to do the silk stuff you see at like Cirque du Soleil. That stuff's incredibly hard, but really fun. As Harley Quinn, part of her character's backstory is she's a pretty fantastic gymnast. So to have the actors to be so committed and willing to get into shape really allows you to shoot things in a way that you believe it that much more. It takes a tremendous amount of coordination and athleticism to do the kind of stuff that all of them are doing. Margot does 97% of her stunts in this movie. She embraced everything we throw at her. She makes it her own and does it better than we could have ever assumed it was going to be. I hope you got insurance. For our car crash sequence, one of the keys for us was getting Margot comfortable underwater for a minute or a minute and a half. And there's this first little period of it that's comfortable, serene. For some people, that's 30 seconds. For other people, it's into the two to three minute range. And then that urge to breathe comes knocking and sometimes kicking down the door. And your fear of suffocation is a primal fear. And so we have to give them the information behind knowing the different breathing styles, the muscles involved, some of the different techniques. That's when the real work of breath holding begins. I got to hold my breath for five minutes. I was very, very pleased with myself. Obviously, Guy, Glenn, and Richard do a tremendous amount of pre-production training and design and maximize what the actors can do to make them look the best when they're doing stunts. It's very important that you are fit. Killer Croc is quite bulky, he was a big guy. So my schedule was pretty rigorous. An hour in the morning was just weightlifting, followed by fight training with the stunt crew. We were really developing techniques for Killer Croc. This is the first time we've seen him. There was Kempo Karate, Jiu Jitsu, Boxing, Kickboxing with Richard Mosquito. He was our in-house sensei and weightlifting. And yeah, there was sort of pretty extreme physical demands for all of us to sort of get in that kind of elite shape. I think the amount of training really, really helped out during pre-production. We went through one hour of fitness training and then a couple hours of very personal character training. One of the main philosophies is the mind is primary, so it's preparing people not just physically but psychologically for the challenges that they may face, how they approach things, how they deal with things. Once you do have that strength of mind, it's amazing what you can accomplish. To get my body to that point as will get myself to that space where I feel like I could hurt somebody really badly if I wanted to. That was super empowering. One day, I'm gonna rain down on you like the Holy Ghost. The fight aspect of it was, I think, important to David because it's part of who all these people are. And there's this sort of edge to all these characters. And, you know, if that wasn't part of your life as a person coming in, it was gonna be 
by the time you left. You were gonna be, to some degree, a fighter. Because of dedication, Kara, Karen, Jai and Jay, they were able to actually earn a full yellow belt ranking in Kempo Karate. David Ayer likes this a sense of reality, and that's what this foundation gives them. It's a sense of reality that there is a discipline and honor and a sense of being humble in karate. Gentlemen, come on up here. Bravo team here, Alpha team over here. David has a background in the military. He was a submariner when he was a young man, but then he teamed up with a couple of former Navy SEALs guys that weren't just Navy SEALs. They'd gone to another level. And my character, Rick, is very much what they were. David really wanted to give us as close to a first-hand Navy SEAL special operation experience as you can get. We have hostiles up ahead. Light it up! The directive with the actors was to build them first mechanically, proficient with different weapon systems, and then work the psychological aspect, get them into combat mindset and it wasn't just static shooting. We were also doing transition drills. Push him over, push him over, all right? We apply a lot of pressure where we want to create fatigue so that we do challenge their decision-making process so that when we are engaging targets with those weapon systems, they have to tap into something else to stay on point. It was intense. For three days, we went in deep. We had two or three extensive personal training sessions where we went really hard. Got a stairway. And then, you know, we get woken up after we slept for maybe one hour. And it becomes very real when you're with these guys that have done it and you know that this is their reality. All the military training that we had done and all the gun training with these guys, something I'll carry with me for the rest of my life. What do you say we get this over with? We had a whole sequence where Will's constantly firing as smoothly as if he's held it all his life. That's that authenticity you really strive for, and that allows you know, him to be on camera. I wanted to really learn how to shoot, how to really be able to take a room if I had to take a room. Once the mentality sets in, in real life, then it's easy to blend it into the character. When your magnums run dry, we might as well go double-handed because it's the most accurate way to shoot. Because I knew he'd, he'd played Ali, he would have done a lot of boxing training, so we focus a lot on a boxer's kind of movement and footwork with him, even though he's got his two wrist magnums. It's still, it's kind of like punching, you know, but it's the attitude that a boxer would have. We knowing that that would be most comfortable to him. Yeah. One of the most exciting parts of my job is getting an actor to actually go and push themselves beyond where they think that they are comfortable, giving them a bit of excitement in the day so they've achieved more than they think they can ever achieve. And then it's surrounding them with really good people, good fight choreographers, good trainers, good gymnastic coaches. They learned a lot, and I learned a lot too. It's reciprocated if you're a dedicated teacher. To have the actor capable of doing 99% of their action is a godsend for the movie because they're organically sort of connected with that character. It's not just anymore a series of movements. It's a character that understands drama and you can see the character thinking within the choreography. I honestly think there's almost nothing you could choreograph that all these actors wouldn't be capable of. As a choreographer, that's fantastic. That's crazy.